Hello, welcome back to another video. Thanks for being here. So if you watched last week's video, you'll see I was down in Tenby, uh, still here. In terms of people who watched last week's video, this is a week on for you guys. However, it's still the same day for me. Um, same day as in I finished last week's video this morning and I'm now gonna do another camp out. Same stretch of uh, coastal path, a little bit further down, maybe two or three miles down. Time is now, it's 10 to six. Let's have a little look this way. Time is now 10 to six. Uh, again, if you watched last week's video, no spoilers if you haven't, but please go and watch. Um, I got soaked last night. I didn't get soaked, tell a lie. It, 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 it hammered down with rain. Um, my tent did suffer. Sorry if there's any wind noise. Oh wow, look at this. It's going to be windy, isn't it? I don't need to put a jumper on. I'm not a second. Sorry about that. No idea what I was saying, to be honest. Um, I think I was saying that I got wet last night. All my gear got wet, at least, anyway. So, I managed to dry it all today. Weather's been up and down, to be honest. It's been dry all day. Um, it's been very windy. Uh, sun's been in and out. It's due to stay dry overnight tonight. So we're back out. Problem is tonight's one, as I touched on, I need to find somewhere sheltered. I'm not sure. You see that there down there? Those people. So they've got their, I've just seen their bags and stuff over there. So there's lots of people around here, abseiling down and then climbing back up. I guess these rocks are made for it. Or these cliffs, shall we say. So as I've touched on, a couple of times now, very, very windy. I'm not sure if you can see, there's a little bit of woodland over there. And all the trees, instead of being upright, all the bushes, they're growing like that. Which tells me the majority of the wind comes in from that way. Yeah, no matter where we go, it's gonna be windy. It's gonna be a windy one, this one. In fact, Talking of last week's video, that's the island I was looking out on, and that's where I was. I'm wondering if this is the place, you know. A little bit of shelter. This bit of heather. Relatively flat lay. This could be the one. I have done some stupid things in my time, but this could top them all. The sit test. The view. Absolutely glorious. So what's going on tonight then? So tonight, I'm having bacon cobs, washed down with a few Berries and cherries, old mooks cider. Cheers. So obviously I'm not gonna get my tent or anything up just yet. It's only six, tell me on now, 25 past six. So I'm just, I'm thinking if I sit here 
have a couple of drinks, see how the wind feels with me sitting up, because obviously the tent's really low profile. So if I'm all right sitting and do my dinner and stuff, then I should be all right for the night in the tent. Uh, what's the night saying? There's a few clouds, but there's a less than 10% chance that it's gonna rain. So, oh my God. See what I mean about this being a bad idea? Oh my god. Oh. Anyway, let's just do it. Cheers. Not sure if you can make that out or not. Well, that sailboat it looks like he's actually towing something else. I will record if it comes any closer. That's so down, look at that. Is that so they dock the main boat out at sea a bit and then jump in the rib boat to come into the harbour? What's going on over here? That man is still, he's, he's moved down a little tiny bit. It's a long old process this is, isn't it? Yeah. He's brought that mini boat, that small boat really close now. Can I just say as well, look at the size of the daisies. That's what they like at home. They're absolutely massive here. Okay, so I assume he's going to go and dock up with those, maybe. A little bit of entertainment for tonight for me. Not something I see every day. Yes, not sure if I've already said this or not. I know I've said it to the people who watched last week's video. So anyone who is new around here, this isn't my usual playground. Um, I'm sort of the best part of 200 mile away from home. Down here on holiday for a week with my family. And I thought I'd take this opportunity to do a couple of camps. So if you didn't watch last week's video, please go ahead and watch it because it's yeah, it just does me a favour, helps me out. Um, yeah, and if you are new, please do consider subscribing. Yeah. And if you are new, please do consider subscribing. Um, yeah, you know what I mean, it helps. So yeah, so where am I? Honestly, I haven't got a clue. Obviously there's a campsite over there. A lot of static caravans. As I said before, I camped over there last night. Tonight's camp. It's just over there. If it doesn't blow away, or if I don't blow away. Look at it down there. I'm sorry if the audio is bad on this one. Still standing by this is the fact that this is the most stupidest camp I've ever done. Or a tent. So windy. Just need to find somewhere with a little bit, just a tiny bit of shelter. What I might do is come and sit here and be dinner there. Just so at least I've got a bit more entertainment. Forget the boat. Have you ever heard of the saying, peeing in the wind? I'm sure you have. We all know what it means. And unfortunately for me, I know now, I now know what that means. Literally. And I'm gonna be honest, it wasn't much fun. Yeah. Uh, I won't show you my trousers, but I'm sure you know how it went. I'm just glad I'm on my own for the rest of the night. Right. Now I've moved. 
away from the boat, as you know. But now, so have the climbers. Anyway, I'm still standing by this is the most stupidest thing I've ever done. Oh my god, I know I'm moaning a lot in this video. But, I've had to peg the chair in. I've also had to peg the camera down. It's that bad. The rest of the climbers, there's loads of climbers being around and gone. Oh, I say being around, there's loads of climbers now. The rest of them seem to be all going. It is now quarter past seven. I've also just spilt my drink all down me. So now, not only am I covered in, covered in urine, I'm also covered in cider. So it's, it's not going very well. Sainsbury's baking tonight, people. Sainsbury's. We're having a treat. Sainsbury's bacon. Oh shit, they're all on the floor. Wonderful. Sainsbury's bacon and Sainsbury's cobs. Oh, can you smell it? I feel, like the I feel like the flames going out. Because of the wind. Well, I don't want to speak too soon, but the wind has died right down. So if it stays like this, I can actually stay where I am now. On the negative side, I've been here for no idea how long now about 20 minutes trying to cook three bits of bacon i'm not sure if there's enough gas or i'm just not sure if the gas canister is just too cold i don't know but it shouldn't be too cold to you know to burn very well um i mean it's, it's getting there but this is only gonna do one sandwich you know i wanted two i'm not sure about you but i like my bacon crispy there we go, I'll give up waiting. Some of juices in there. Hmm. There's loads of gas left in there. Loads. It must just be the cold. Not gonna lie. You see that? Hop stays. I'm sure I started cooking around about quarter past seven. So it's took, this is my second roll. So it's took just over an hour, or an hour and 10 minutes, hour and 15 minutes to do two bacon rolls. And I think, it's not the, it's not the cold, I think it's the wind um, where the flame comes up and I think just assuming that the wind's blowing through there and it just <sighs> so it's now 25 past nine and i'm not joking yet this is the first i've come to actually bailing on a camp because i am absolutely freezing my only saving grace is that usually, I guess I say usually, it gets warm once you get into the tent. So that's what I'm kind of hoping on. Because of the wind, I have to take the chair and the tripod down. But oh my God, I'm not joking, it is freezing. Oh, it looks glorious, I don't know. Truth be told, I've still not decided where I'm, where I'm sleeping. Thinking.
Nice and spongy. Oh my god. Yeah. Let's get with that. Change of plan. When have we got this chance to sleep like, like this again? I'm going for it. I'm going here. Oh, it's almost made for me. It's almost made for it, look. Apart from that rock. Yeah, a little bit scary down there. Very scary down there. Right. <laughs> the ground is so hard here. I've kind of... Yeah. I've got about 12 pegs in, maybe more. But none of them are fully in the ground, if you know what I mean. So, uh... Wish me luck. I think what I'm going to do tonight is because I woke up this morning, obviously last week for the people who watched last week's video, uh, I woke up soaked. Um, I think what I'm going to do tonight is, because it's not due to rain, is put the waterproof cover on the back and actually get inside the bivvy bag inside the tent. It's actually looking so far. Look at that sky. Like I say, it's not due to rain. And it's not looking like it's gonna rain. It's actually looking like it's gonna be really clear. So, again, I've set my alarm for August one, just so I can have a little bit of sleep and I can get up and hopefully enjoy the night sky. So, I think this will be my last check-in until then. Okay. I was now. Five plus one. Let's all look outside together. Oh my god. The stars are just. <sighs> Morning. Time is now. 4.34. I haven't slept much to be honest. I reckon that was the. Second windiest night of my life. The first being, or the most windy night of being on Trifon, North Wales. I'll insert some clips if I can find any now. I mean, to be fair, what a gorgeous morning. I was so worried my bag wasn't going to be there. I have checked about six times through the night because it's just. It's a bit bad. It looks like it's going to rain. Oh! Right, it's quarter past five. I think it's probably time. Oh, I'm down a bit in this office. So. It's a we're a bit damp in there. See that? However, the sleep bag was completely dry. Thanks to the baby. Okay, 
There we go. So it's now. 25 to 6. Thanks very much for watching. Catch you later.